Hey, so in this tutorial, we are going to solve a very interesting question from static equilibrium. So the question is saying, a 172 centimeter tall person rides on a light massless board, which is supported by two scales, one under the top of her head and one beneath the bottom of her feet. The two scales lead respectively 31 or 35.1 and 31.6 kgs. What distance is the center of gravity of this person from the bottom of her feet? Okay, so now <clears throat> the question is asking us to say what distance is the center of gravity of this person from the bottom of her feet? So we really don't know if the center of gravity was maybe somewhere there or maybe there, but the equation is going to or the distance which you're going to find is going to determine to say it was somewhere, maybe it was there or maybe there. So what do we do? You know guys, when you're trying to solve any question under static equilibrium, the first thing is we are supposed to consider the board, the mass of the board. But in this question they are saying that the mass of the board we need to consider to say it is massless, meaning it has got no mass. Okay? So there are only three conditions under static equilibrium. The first condition which you need to know is the sum of all the forces in y direction they're supposed to give you zero. And also the sum of all the forces in x direction are supposed to give us what? Zero. Then also the sum of all the torque is supposed to give us what? Zero. So these are the conditions. If these conditions are satisfied, then we can say that this system is at static equilibrium. When we say static equilibrium, the system is balanced. The sum of all the forces in y direction, when you add them, they're supposed to give you zero. The sum of all the forces in x direction, when you add them, they're supposed to give you zero. The sum of all the torque in the system is supposed to give us zero. So now, in this case, we are not going to deal with the forces. Why? Because we don't have the forces in x direction, we don't have forces in y direction. So if we don't have those two guys, then we need to, to work with what? The torque. Okay? So now I'll be working with the, the torque for me to find the center of gravity. But now the question is, which you need to be asking yourself is this. We have been given the length. So now from this point all the way to there, we have been given to say it is 172 centimeters. Now, we are trying to find the distance from this feet here, from here, somewhere. Maybe we don't know. Maybe it was somewhere there. But what can we do? For us to do that, what we need to do is we can just say that maybe it was somewhere there. Just assume to say it was maybe somewhere there. All the way to the feet there. Just denote it X. Okay? So, guys, if everything here it is, let's, let's assume to say everything here, it is 172. Okay? Now, we have just gotten the portion of it to say from this point all the way to that point, it is just x. So, what would be this point which have remained? Meaning that this point is going to be 172 minus x. So, therefore, we can say that this point from the head here all the way to where that guy is, we can say that that point is going to be 172 minus x. Okay? That is what we have. So we are going to assume to say our pivot is going to be where there is the center of mass. So let's assume to say the pivot is there. Okay? So that is our pivot. Now, we know to say this 31.1, 35.1 is going to cause the torque which is going to go in this direction. So we can call that one as torque 1. Then this one, that 1.6, is going to cause the torque to go. The system is going to go in that direction. So we can call it torque 2. So now, you can think of this. If you want torque 1 to be negative, you can say anti-clockwise is going to be negative or clockwise is going to be negative, but it's the same thing. You can just choose. So now, what I'm going to do me is this. I'm going to say that the sum of all the torque, the sum of all the torques, which I'm going to have here, is going to be equal to zero. So what torque do we have? We have got torque one, so I'm going to say torque one, I'm going to denote it as positive. Then minus, I'm going to take torque two as negative, so I'm going to have this. This one has to give me zero. Then now, this is two. 
then I'm supposed to say to say talk one is going to equal to talk two. So what is talk? Okay. So talk is given by the force times the what? The displacement, or we can just say uh, the arm, the leather arm. Okay. You can say the displacement or the distance. Anyway, it's the same thing. Now what we're going to do here is this. T1. Let me do this. The T1 which you have here, we have got the force. Now, what force do we have? The force which is going to be exerted by torque 1 is going to be the weight of this block which we have. The weight of this mass which you have. Same applies to that one. Okay? So, the mass which you are going to have there is going to be the weight of this one, which is going to be W. Even here is going to be the weight. So, we can say that this is W1 and this is W2. So, we can say that it's going to be the torque it's going to be the weight force, which is the, the force basically times the R. Now, this torque 1, we have got the, the force, which is the, is going to be W1. Then times, what is the displacement? The displacement is from this point, from this point, all the way to that point. So what, is, what do we have? We have got, the, I can just put them in brackets, then we have 172 minus x now that one if you want you can convert it into meters but if you want you can just leave it the way it is and you are going to find your value as also in centimeters okay so that is what we are going to have then i'm going to have this is going to be equal to this one is going to be w2 then what is the f we have got the x there so our goal is to find the value of x that x is going to be the displacement which we are looking for the one which is going on what is the distance uh, the one which they are asking to say what is the distance or what distance is the center of gravity of this person from the bottom of our feet that is going to be the value of x so what do we do now we know that this one is going to be i can just denote this one to say is m1 and this one m2 it's okay then this one we know that weight force is going to be m1 times g then here is going to be 172 minus x this one is going to be M2G, and then I have got X. So we can see that we have got G everywhere. We can cancel the G, because G is the same. Then we are going to have, um, let me get rid of this. We are going to have the M1, okay, open brackets, 172 minus X. Then we have M2 times X. So now let's plug in the values. What is M1? Mass 1 is 30, is 35.1, then 172 minus him. The x is the one which you are trying to find. What is m2? m2 is 31, 31.6 31 times x. So our goal is to find the value of x. That is going to be our value. So we are going to say that 30, we say 35 uh, point, 35.1. And then times 172. Okay. So I'm getting 6,000. Um, 6,037.2. Then minus is going to be 35. Okay. It's going to be 35.1x has to be equal to 31.6x. So I can shift this guy to the other side and I'm going to have. 607.2 is going to be equal to 31.6x plus 35.1. Okay, so we have this it has to be equal to, so we need to, to say 31 plus him 6, then plus 35.1. So this one is going to give me 66.7. Okay, so this 66.7, we also have what? In the x, even here we have x. Okay, so our goal is to find the value of x. Let's divide both sides by 66.7, even here 66.7. So what will be our x? Okay, so we have 637.2 divided by 66.7. Okay, so the answer which I'm getting, I'm getting 90.51 centimeters if you want to put your answer into meters you can just divide that answer by a hundred which is going to give us 0 0.9 so our x is going to be equal to 0 0.91 0 0.905 but i've just rounded off to say so that will be 
the distance now that one is going to be maybe from here all the way to there that will be our 90.51 centimeters so that is how you solve such questions